Hey, this is Fady on OneAvenue.tv. When everyone's around, you're the only one I see. Legendary. I mean, I think it affects you a little bit. Once you have such a big record, you feel like you need to follow it up uh, and you kind of feel the pressure of that. Um, but for me, I'm trying to learn to not think about it too much and, and go back to where the music always starts from. Like with Have You I Need Your Love, I never thought that was going to be such a big success. I did it because I, I really I really like the beat. I really like the music. I loved what kind of came from the song. And um, I just wrote something that came from the heart. So. You know, I just gotta not think about it too much and, and just do me, so, yeah. When I wrote and recorded Legendary, I had so much fun doing it because I kind of felt like there wasn't the pressure of having to come out with the next hit song. Um, you know, I do kind of calculate a lot of things sometimes and I didn't feel like I needed to do that with this, with this EP. I hadn't done an EP for three years. The last EP I'd done was Unbreakable, so... For me, it was nice to do an, a body of work and challenge myself in the process. Like I had, uh, I wrote and, and recorded a, a song in Arabic and English. I knew the fans really wanted to hear that, so I made sure I did that on a track called Amari. Um, and I also wrote and recorded uh, a Spanish-English record on a song called Yalinda. I had a lot of fun doing that, actually. Um, and, you know, I also tackled some subjects that I hadn't tackled yet, like about jealousy. I had a song called, uh, that I wrote called Jealous, which, um, you know, is a club record. It's, it's kind of tongue-in-cheek and, and uh, a lot of fun. Then there was a song called If I Didn't Love You, which uh, actually I wrote a few years ago. Um, and it was brought back to my attention uh, by my manager. He was like, you really should kind of like tackle this song again. It's a really good record and maybe you should finish it. We can add it to the EP. Um, and yeah, it was one of those topics that I felt like a lot of people can relate to. You know, when you're in a, in a relationship, we all have, have, have our insecurities. And um, it doesn't matter how much you go through and how much you, you, you show that you love that person. Sometimes, you know, you do have those questions. Um, and it's just kind of just reassuring your partner that, you know, well, if I didn't love you, then why would I still be here right now? Why would, I, why would we do the things that we do? So that's a special record for me. And, uh, and yeah, finally, Legendary. Uh, the song itself, you know, just, you know, it, it, it represents power. Um, power of being, you know, with someone that you love so much that, you know, you go through the ups and the downs and, 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 and just, just great moments in life that make it legendary. And, you know, it had that summer feel, it had, it had sexy, it had um, depth, it had just everything that I kind of felt would be great for a first single. On the EP, actually, it's all solo. I don't have any collaborations. I've um, collaborated with uh, two producers on the record, Divi Poda and Alex Katoy. Um, and we came up with this with this EP that I felt like I just wanted it to be intimate. I didn't really want um, too much going on with collaborations and all that stuff. I have other songs that didn't make the EP that involve collaborations, but that's going to come up. Actually, uh, I've been a fan of Vinna for quite some time now. I think she's super talented, and I think it'd be great if we did a track together. I wouldn't mind. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. I think at the right time, I know she's busy, and I'm busy doing my thing, so hopefully we can get that right moment to come together and create some magic. That'd be awesome. Well, when the Legendary EP came out, I kind of I was excited because like I said, I hadn't released an EP for years. So I was super excited to kind of give my fans a little bit more than just a single every couple months. And for me, for them to hear, you know, what I've been up to the last few months was, was really cool. And, and because I had, you know, you know, records like Amadi, which, which, which had the Arabic English feel, and then you've got Yolinda with the Spanish and, and um, you know, just, topics like jealous and all that sort of stuff, I was excited for the fans to, to, to hear and see a different side of me. So I think I was nervous, but but I was definitely excited. And I'm, I'm just glad with the reaction that's kind of come about from this EP. 
I really didn't expect it. So, you know, I really, really do appreciate it. I definitely, I definitely have plans to go on tour. Um, I'm going to be actually headlining my own worldwide tour toward the end of the year. And, um, you know, one of the places that I'm dying to go to just to thank my fans so, so much because they've been so supportive over the years are my Polish fans. So I can't wait to go to Poland. I can't wait to visit my fans in Germany, Turkey, Romania, and, and definitely the UK. I promised you guys I was going to be, give you a show um, soon, and I promised you towards the end of the year we've definitely got something lined up special for you guys, and I can't wait. My fans, my Fady Army, I love you so, so much. You guys mean the world to me, and you know what? I have so much new things and so much exciting things to share with you all very soon. Thank you for showing Legendary so much love. I'm glad you guys enjoyed the EP, and uh, yeah, 2016 is going to be a really exciting year, and I'm so glad that you can be a part of it. Love you. Make sure you catch me on oneavenue.tv.